So what happens when metadata changes? You may not see any job failure in your pipelines and oftentimes it's not until weeks or months later that you realize that something has been happening. We'll show you how to easily detect data drift and shifts using Colibri Data Quality and Observability and set up periodic checks so you don't get caught by surprise again. We'll focus on the behavior section in the tool that will display the automatic detection of data shifts, what's typically the observability feature that really helps us flag those anomalies. And the key here is that everything is happening with minimum human intervention, as the tool is putting automatic checks in place for us. As I open the automatic rules, you can really see what's happening in the background as I have null checks in place, unique checks, minimum values, etc. To better understand this concept, let's start by looking at the raw data. The use case here is sales data, a table that contains information from sales transactions, and it has a number of anomalies that we've introduced to see how Colibra data quality and observability can really help us flagging those for us, saying, hey, we found an anomaly here, you may want to have a look. This table contains transactions over a number of days, and in this example, I want the tool to look at this data and establish a baseline for all those columns and learn its behavior over a time frame. We call this profiling, and whenever there's values that break outside the established boundaries, we'll receive an alert. In this case, we'll focus on the cost column, where we can notice that the values are always four digit numbers, but there's two exceptions with two extreme values. One is zero, and the other one is almost 300,000. In the sales rep column, there's also some changes that hopefully the tool will detect, as we observe a shift from three reps to just one. We'll start from the setup page. I've selected my data source and clicked on create a new job. The great thing about our tool is that drift and shift changes are detected automatically by default. Once our engine has analyzed the behavior for the past few days, it will be able to identify any abnormal changes. Let's have a look at how these anomalies look like. I'll go back to the Behavior tab under the DQ job page. And we can easily identify that there are a number of anomalies, as mentioned before. If we click on Details, we can identify that all the sales were assigned to John and this probably won't make Cal and Sarah any happy when payday comes. Our tool can detect changes in cardinality and also changes in values. So if we look at the cost field, the minimum value went from $1,000 to zero, so probably our accounts receivable team should have a look into the latest data. And similarly, there was a huge change in the maximum value as we saw previously in the table. Another great feature of Colibri Data Quality and Observability is that changes in the shape of the data are also detected by default. What that means is that there's been a shift in some of the fields in a single column, and it detects that an email field is not following the general structure, with name, the at symbol, domain, dot com. Last but not least, I want to set up these checks to be done periodically, so I'll open this tab here and select the days of the week that I want the job to rerun. 